Hello out there, ladies and gentlemen. Meet my wizard, I'm Zauberhaft. This is ANZ, the time has come. It's the perfect time to continue my run through Act 5 of Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. Yeah, nothing more to be said about this. I'm eager, I'm just like... I'm growing impatient! I cannot wait till I finally discover everything that is in store for me at the end of this act, at the level 70 and everything around this concept. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on! I'm co oh Oh, looks like the buggets are not remotely afraid of these things, and they're not damaged by them. That's a good thing to know. Monsters are not remotely damaged by the environment. I mean, hey, if you guys ever played Doom, I mean the original Doom, first game of Doom on Do or Doom 2 Hell on Earth, you might recall these days when you're supposed to walk on lava and that's actually really, really damaging to you. But the uh, monsters of the game are not remotely affected I mean, hey, you may fight against some sort of demons or any other creatures that are invulnerable to acidic damage or anything like it, but hey, sometimes lava is just lava. If you step on lava, you're gonna get burnt to the ash. And there are monsters that are, well, the, the whole lot of monsters, even just a regular zombified man are stepping into lava and not getting the tiniest bit of damage. Maggot Brood, is that like a... Searching for the Maggot Brood has been quite an adventure. I first observed the corpse of one near the road to Westmarch, where it raised such a stench that my new assistant vomited twice on my favorite traveling cloak. The stench <laughs> came out eventually, but I was sorely vexed. Oh, thanks die. for the boost. I intend never to die. What do you? What do you believe? <laughs> never to die. Whoa! Does that does that mean our wizard is gonna turn it into a into some sort of Voldemort or something like this? <laughs> never to die, eh? What are you gonna do? Never to die. I mean, what's a man to do if such a go? Probably do everything to support science. That's kind of the only thing you can do about the stuff if you intend never to die. But that's quite a nice drive out there. Have you guys ever thought what happens on the Earth if people actually never die? What is the humanity supposed to do just to prevent overpopulation? I mean, hey, that, that, that's nice and that's... Uh, I will be really proud for a human race when we actually discover a means of how to make a human being immortal, but still... Ah, okay, now I've checked this. Whoa. There is the place I'm supposed to go. Thank you a lot for the information, Mr. Game Interface. So I could clear the area out of everything prior to going there. When I face Malfell, I will surely be level 70. I don't think I will face Adria on level 70 though. I will I think I will remain on uh, 69. Your grave awaits. Actually, where when am I getting This is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to check it, I'm going to check that one out. The very moment I'm hitting level 69. Since that's uh, since that's arcane damage. I mean, arcane damage is supposed to be... Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. And this is where Enchantress goes down really fast. Which 
they called me, but I turned it against them. When their daughter had a child that needed to disappear, when there was a sickness that none of the healers could cure, who was it they pleaded with? When they needed me, the morality they flaunted in the daylight disappeared, as it always does. <laughs> So Adria has just been seeking revenge on humanity. That's what she was that's what she has been doing all the time. And this is why she turned her own daughter into a demonic abomination called Diablo. But quite a nice storyline out there, Blizz, but still, doesn't that look too simplistic? <laughs> just a simple piece of revenge has cost the world this much. Whoa, since you step on it, it's almost inevitable already. You cannot leave that platform. All right. Oh, I'm just I'm just mashing that tab button. I will try not to do that just in case, ladies and gentlemen. I do remember that I'm overusing that button. That very button that indicates Really? Where is the guardian? I know that there is supposed to be a guardian. I do think that does not imply a lot of these tiny tiny buggets. Any more? Oh. Oh, that's what he summoned! <laughs> the chest is openable, nevertheless. I do not read... I do not know... Bogget language. So... What's a man to do? He just went to summon... Oh, father! There is a bad man coming! Save us! And father didn't save them. What a pity. Nephilim is a Nephilim after all. Well, I have been over here already. Oh, come on, stop it. Well, I don't see these things. They are almost invisible under the water. It's not that... Well, they do not damage you that all that much at least. Now what does that yelling does? Oh, what are yelling? What does that yelling do? So these these bats are like yelling at me or something like it. But that doesn't do all that much. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not going in there. Well, you are throwing traps all the way, so I will get trapped anyways. Who get trapped too? How does that feel? Yeah, how does that feel? See your pants in the traps. The whole place is actually trapped. That's terrible. There we go. And the tower goes down too. That's one huge area if you want to farm a lot of uh, a lot of chests. Okay, I will spring all those traps so that they do not prevent me from going anywhere. Alright, there we go. Ooh, whoa. Am I, am I going across somehow? Oh, please, Adria, don't... I wonder if this was always a mark. Oh, that's a nice question. What if this? Uh, what if it all was not the marsh? Some some time ago. Yeah, shrieking terror. They're yelling at me, but I don't. But I don't know what they are doing with that. Like this. Ah. Probably I have always been escaping all that with ease. Missed on that. That did not strike home. 
some more monsters want to die a pathetic death. Where does that go? Bogan Warren. One single home of those Bogans that is accessible. And even... Whoop. Okay, now you get this. I got super skills too. Speech the Hoarder. Why are you leaving that frozen frozen element element out there and run from it? I mean, you are not I supposed to run. Get any better. Very nice. So, I'm going to be checking What am I going to be checking? Yeah, that one, spell steel. Let's see if that's used better. I know that what what does this do? That basically decreases the damage of my opponents and increases my own damage. Let me see if it functions nice. Or it doesn't function at all. Get that! Well, that's one I'll, that one is uh, almost invisible. Let me just throw the spell into the open air and see whether it functions nice. How does it function? Ah, huh, quite nice. Quite beautiful. So... What does the blood magic count as? Is it arcane? Is it uh, physical? Is it... Is it any uh, other elemental damage? Come on, my dear Enchantress L. <laughs> I know, I know, I just like the name. I just like how I called her. Ever since I began that with my, vi uh, with my wizard. Which I've been searching. Yeah, ever since I played with my wizard he has always been navigating through the place with enchantress so they're kind of a uh, bosom friends or something like it I'm not sure if uh, that is a proper expression whoa eight very nice but those are just the mobs I mean Oh, the shaman is supposed to be killed right away. Fast as I can. Very nice. Very nice. And those are tiny guys. I kind of feel that it is becoming a little bit harder to kill them. A little bit harder. Each time my character levels, I can feel it, almost physically, with the, uh, with the amount of damage I'm dealing to them, with the amount of damage they are dealing to me. So, this is where Adria lurks. Just warming up. Well, we could make nice friends. She was not that bad of a mother, after all. She was quite nice to Leah. Why would she become this angry? I mean, okay, he just uh, basically has grown mad because the humanity did not treat her to that. Well, the humanity just basically did not treat her with respect, I should say. Judging by the way she says. You do realize that you never divulged what the prophets said about me. I had almost forgotten about that. It is just that I am so used to it now. It seemed so strange at the beginning. Did it have anything to do with my magical skills? <laughs> no, not that. But I really should not say. It was told to me in confidence. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I know that I uh, have already heard this tiny conversation between my wizard and enchantress, but still. That seems kind of curious. I mean, it seems a lot curious to me. Especially the thing that the wizard says, Does that have anything to do with my magical skills? <laughs> it's, it's almost as if he's uh, trying to produce some kind of impression. Did you? The Enchantress is supposed to get amused by. 
They're both wizards after all. There is not too much they can impress each other with. Oh, what does that do? Why is it shining? Does that uh, does that damage me somehow? Or does it not? I mean, everything in the Blizzard's game has something to concern, to have a concern about. Whoa! I like this. I like this much. Boom! And they're all dragged into this. And I have a boosted damage. Alright. I like that. I like that much. Those are um, some more marquee stones. Look at that. Uh, that thing is shining. Well, 11 already. Does that mean I'm getting this damage? Amplifier. But I'm not saying too much about this. This particular, uh, this particular passage is supposed to be a lot and a lot more intricate, and there must be a lot more sub passages around it because it's a correct passage after all. If you ever search for uh, false Tal Rush's tombs, those additional tombs you may have searched are not that big after all except for only one probably only one of them but here but here it is supposed to be all the same the original tomb you are entering is a lot and a lot more spacious it has a lot of passages in it it has a lot of rooms and a lot of monsters lurking inside Oh, there, is a, there was a skeleton, but still, I'm not going to be visiting that thing, because it's a lot time-consuming. Have you appreciated my black hole? Are these going to spring? Do they, do they spawn monsters? Well, I don't think so. I am returning to town. Oh, my bags are full over again. I mean, hey, that's a run-through after all, but enrichment is something you're never supposed to abandon. Oh, that's a, that's a lot. That that's a lot even better than my hammer jammers with uh, with that resistance jam. Let me actually wear those. I will keep those hammer jammers, but still, that 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 tiny bit of damage does not count. But the toughness it brings along with it, that's what does count, after all. Not nothing too much of interest. I'm still kind of waiting till I get the helm with a socket. Oh, shall I paint those? I'm guessing I'm supposed to paint those. I don't want to transmogrify them because I kind of want to see if those suit me as they are. Well, they do. They do make me look like a armored person. They suit the the actual armor I have. Well, maybe I will replace them with something else, but still, at this particular moment... Where did I put the... Okay, I'm a little bit messed up on everything around. I don't remember where I put the stuff. I don't remember where, where everything is. But this is what I usually do after any run. Dealing with the stuff inside my actual stash. Because there is a horrible mess in there each time I play. Especially now that I'm getting new items all the way. I'm getting new levels, I'm getting new items. The entire gear system is supposed to be remastered now. That's what I feel like, 
And that's what it actually is, because with the level 70, man, they promise there will be a lot and a lot of new items dropping. Probably not that frequently dropping. That's not a pair of shoes. That's not a concern. But still, they will, they're going to be really, really different. So... They might... They will have nothing to do. Well, they say some things like Witching Hour or something like that might be still really, really handy. Whoa, whoa, wh what is dealing this much damage to me? In all this chaos, I cannot... What? I don't remember dying all that much. Whoa, uh, apparently I'm not supposed to let them fire those fire missiles at me. Flash shamans. What is this place? Is it the actual passage I'm supposed to pursue? I guess so. Actually, everything I'm looking at is quite nice. Blizzard, you definitely know how to make an, a nice eye candy stuff. So, uh, you might ask why I am backtracking at the moment. Yeah, that's the skeleton and didn't have anything on the person. Because I want to clear that tiny location over here. Yeah. Let me see if that holds anything of interest. Probably I should return to town as soon as I can and repair my gear. Feels any remorse for what she did to Leah? Why would she feel any I'm remorse? So good, I, I mean, hey, not a single prick of conscience, I suppose. Ah. Uh. She has. She doesn't have, have any conscience on that. The ruins of Corvus. This stinking, festering swamp is punctuated by worn blocks of stone. Perhaps these ancient sentinels are all that remain of the proud Nephilim city. No, there is more to be found. I know it. Yeah, there is definitely more to be found. Like I don't know, maybe some sort of more gear items to steal more I want more I'm growing greedy where does that passage go that's a lot of stuff I'm missing this is why I didn't go further on but I don't know where the actual passage is they're kind of all going far Normally, the way you're going far is supposed to be... Come on, spawn! Yeah, thank you. Normally, the way you're going far is supposed to be the way you're supposed to go. If you want to progress in terms of, uh, of the quest. But over here... Sometimes Blizzard are known as... Actually, rule-breaking game publisher. Inspect the cursed quest. Activate the first ancient switch. Oh, that's gonna take a while. Whoa! Get to it. The second one. Oh, that's more. Get into it! That's nice. I believe there's gonna be more and more of these guys with every following... With every following switch. There we go. Get into my black hole. Who was shooting at me like this? Now that's really intriguing. And I actually like how there are different... It's all the way different. You, you, you are given different uh, trials all the way. Every time. 
Come on. Malgash. Let me see so that I don't take damage from the lightning. Very nice. Perfect. But those tiny pieces do not give me all that much. Ooh. Okay, am I supposed to backtrack real quick? Probably. Oh, just uh, such a relieving piece of music in the background of this. Looks like uh, as though nothing wrong is happening. Let me see if I can teleport through that. Yet. No, I can't. Well, I, I remember Blaze actually oh, publishing a patch that, that, you... that makes you teleport through objects and walls. Originally, the, uh, the wizard was not authorized <laughs> to penetrate any, uh, through any walls. But hey, sometimes it gets misleading. Sometimes you can't teleport through monster walls. Sometimes you cannot teleport through their walls. For example, if the monster has wall or apex. I have not figured that out yet. I have not figured that out. And sometimes you teleport with that teleportation really, really, really fast and nice. Evading any threat. Evading from any threat like this. No, whoa. But you remember, you do remember me dying to uh, a wall or monster somewhere at the beginning of my run. When the monsters were actually growing strong, and I tried to teleport away through the waller. And it actually didn't give me any opportunity to do that. So, this is the place. And this is the waypoint. Now, oh, where are you going? Return! Finally. Oh, some more... Anything else? Last night, I found the ruined Nephilim city. When I stepped into the buried catacombs, I felt a stirring in my blood. And then a wondrous thing. A dim light began to glow all around me, not cast by any torch. It was as though the very stones acknowledged my presence. Hmm. The guy is trying to raise suspense about the situation ruins of Corvus is that the ruins of the ancient Nephilim city I'm about to enter I do think so and there is a waypoint over here I believe that this is the sweet spot for me let me return to town then oh no I will I will return to town via waypoint that's gonna be really really nice where the town is the survivors Enclave over here. Well, then, I will quickly, quickly recycle all the materials I have. I will do everything within my power. I mean, that doesn't do much, right? So, oh, how could I have missed that one? What does that do? Well, that's basically worthless, although it's kind of really nice to me. And I have that boosted critical hit chance over here. Okay. Normally I would just run all the way with critical chance. Well, the sweet spot for me is 45, something like this. If I have critical chance equal to 45%, that means I'm supposed to boost more the critical hit damage, attack speed, or whatever. That gets you a lot and a lot more damage, all things considered. Well then, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be seeing each other in the following episode of my Diablo 3 Ripper of Souls first run through Act 5. Yeah. 
it will happen really soon, I promise. But for now, Tauber half out. <laughs>